great. I, God, I will stir up the Medes against them. So again, we have God saying, I'm going to command a battle. Like I say again, it happened. Yeah. God allowed it to happen. Yeah. He permitted it. It happened. Yeah. But you wouldn't do that unless God instructs you to do that. Yeah. Like, don't do that unless you hear God so, telling you. So what we can it see, has to be God, not Satan. So what we can see in the Bible, so far, God has had, had ordained that the people of Israel, the they women are to be raped. Not everybody, but... No, not everybody, but he said the women are to be raped. It happens. Yeah. He said the children, the babies, innocent babies, are to be smashed into pieces. Mm. And he said slaves to the Israelites are allowed to be beaten half to death, as long as they yeah, don't die yeah. day. Yeah, all these things have happened. And it's perfectly fine. Well, it, it's not fine for me, because yeah. I'm not God. No, but, but it, these do, things do happen. you think that's justifiable? Yeah. So justifiable? If I was able to talk to God and God could talk now, yeah. he would be the one to answer this rather than me. Because this, so, this is God's word. So how would you justify this? How would I justify yeah. it? God is in charge of yeah, but, everything. Yeah, but what's the wisdom behind smashing an innocent baby to pieces? I don't know. Okay, so the point you made earlier, the author of the Old Testament is Jesus, right? Jesus was the one that ordained this. Yeah, yeah. Now you said Jesus is perfect. Yes. Would a perfect human being or perfect God permit the murder of innocent babies? Well, or he rape? wouldn't. He wouldn't. But he did here. But his father, God permitted it, didn't he? Yeah, but Jesus is the father. They're one. Yeah, According to yeah. you. Yeah. So Jesus, who is God, ordained it's permissible to rape women and to smash innocent babies to pieces. See, the things that you're presenting to me, yeah. I haven't come prepared yeah. to answer those kind of questions because they're, yeah. they're deep. Yeah. There's a uh, perfect, perfectly good reason for all this. You know, these things did happen. Yeah. And there is answers for it. Yeah. Of course, I don't have the answers now because I haven't been studying all this. So, but, um, so you think that you can find a reason? This was all regarding Jewish people. Yeah. But the, the people that wrote the Old Testament are but Jews. It doesn't take away from the fact that Jesus ordained it. So you're saying that you honestly, wholeheartedly believe that you can justify raping women. Well, for me personally, it's an awful thing, but... No, I mean, but, no, but... So you're saying God ordained the awful thing? Yeah. God ordained something awful? He told King Saul... Yeah. He said to King Saul, I want you to kill King Agag. Yeah. I want you to kill his sheep. Yeah. I want you to kill everything. His animals, the lot. Yeah. But King Saul didn't do what God had said through yeah. Samuel. Yeah. And God was not happy with so, King Saul. So this is the same type of thing. But is this wrong or right? Well, it's right because it's God's word and God wanted it done. So killing babies and raping women is right? Not today it isn't. No, but back then was it right? Yeah, if God, if God commanded it. So back, if God did command it, it's in the Bible. So back then, raping somebody was right. It's okay to rape, back then it was okay to rape someone. If you know it's God up commanding it, then you have to do what God commands I, you. I don't think you really honestly genuinely believe that. God commanded Abraham. I can see. He said to, he said to Abraham, I want you to take your son. I said, and I want you to take him to, well, I want you to prepare a place for him. Yeah. To be sacrificed. Yeah, we know that's what we really need to do. It's just as cruel as that. No, I, he's only a child. I, Isaac is only a little I, kid. I disagree. You're comparing because Abraham didn't actually have to sacrifice him. Ah, oh, but he was, God, this could be a challenge as well. But it know? did actually happen though. Yeah, probably, this actually happened. Probably. Abraham did not sacrifice his son. It was a test. Nearly You're did. Yeah, but he didn't know. You're comparing a test where the son didn't actually get sacrificed and the son himself was okay with it to raping innocent women and smashing innocent babies into pieces. Now, honestly, do you honestly believe that God ordained it and that's okay? Yeah, he did, because it's there, isn't it? And do you believe that's okay? You it has seem, to be, it has to be okay. You, you seem to hesitate when I ask you, so I don't believe you honestly genuinely believe that. I don't believe you honestly, as an honest man, believe that raping women and smashing innocent babies into pieces was ever okay. Well, that's the way it is. That's the way it was. Of course I don't agree with it, but it's in the Bible. Yeah. God is God. Yeah. He's not a man. Yeah. He's not a man that he should lie. Yeah. He ordained it at that particular time for a reason. There's a reason behind it. And you'd have to ask God directly, or Jesus. Yeah. And he'd have to answer the question. It's, so, if you want to know something about a car, it's no good asking somebody who doesn't know about the car yeah. the question. You have to ask the person who knows about the car to yeah, answer but the question. You, as a Christian, are someone that believes that this is moral. Yeah, well, for me personally, that is not moral. But so, so, God, so God does something immoral? But what you're saying is, because of this, I don't, I, I don't want the God of the Bible. No, no, but you don't believe it's moral. No. So then you're saying God does something immoral. If it's not well, moral, it's happened. It's yeah, happened. yeah, but if it's not moral, 
If smashing babies into pieces... It's not moral according to our law, is I, I, I know. But if smashing babies into pieces and raping women is not moral, it's immoral. Now, are you telling me that God done something which is immoral? Not, not immoral to him. But do you believe it's immoral? Because as a Christian... Well, to, I wouldn't kill and rape children and women. I, I know, but way. for you to... I be, don't know why God... Yeah, but for you to be a Christian that believes in the Bible and you believe this is the word of God, you have to believe everything God done is perfect. You see, God allowed Adolf Hitler to come. Yeah. He allowed and Adolf Hitler to come to power. But there's a difference. He didn't command ah. it. He didn't command it. He allowed it. He allowed it's it. It's as good as commanding. No, it's not. He allowed it, but he did not he want to. He stopped it, but he didn't. Yeah, because humans have free will. God allows a lot of things to go on. We don't time. understand. We don't no, there's a difference. With Hitler, yes. With Hitler, God allowed it to happen. He did not command it. With this. How do you know he didn't give instructions behind the scenes and said, I'm going to allow this man I, I, to come I, to power, I'm going to allow him to rule for a certain amount of years, he's going to kill this amount of people. How do you know God didn't ordain that? It's not in the Bible. It doesn't have to be. I mean, maybe it's written in there. And, and he didn't give revelation to Hitler, did he? He didn't speak There's to Hitler. There's a lot of things that are going on that... I'm sure God knows these things are going to happen before they happen. I, yeah, I agree. But he doesn't stop it. No, I, I agree. Don't know I agree. I agree. But there's a difference. Even in Islam, we believe God decrees everything. So when murder happens and rape or whatnot, God decreed it, no problem. Well, it... One thing we do know, no, but, yeah. God rules over everything. He rules but over good difference. and evil, yeah, he but... rules over creation. We just don't know why God allows all these things to yeah, go on with us. There's a difference though. Here God commanded it. He didn't just allow it, he commanded it. He commanded that innocent babies will be smashed into You're saying to God, you're saying to Jesus, why is this written in the Holy Bible? Why did you allow innocent children and women to be ravished, no, killed? No, what, that's not what I'm asking. No, you're asking God because God is the owner of no, the no, what, I'm, what, what I'm asking <laughs> is this. As a Christian, do you believe that this is moral? And if you say no, then what you will be saying is God done something immoral. You're so saying he, that God is not holy. No, I'm asking you. As your, own, your own perception, right? If God does something immoral, he's not perfect. Sorry. If he does something immoral, he's not perfect. So do you believe... What? So let me just make the point. Do you believe that when, when God said, smash babies into pieces, rape innocent women, take slaves and beat them half to death, as long as they don't die the same day, do you believe that that's moral and it's okay, it's perfectly fine, it's morally right? And if you say no, then what you would be saying is that God does something immoral, therefore he's not perfect. You're trying to say that what I believe has got a sinkhole in it. No, no, I'm, I'm, asking, huge... no, I'm asking you what you believe. What do I believe? Yeah. I believe that God is God, yeah. and He can do what He wants. Yeah. You know, if He wants, if He wants to reduce the human population, He can do that. Yeah, but what I'm, what's your name again? Sorry, Malcolm. Uh, Mal Malcolm. What I'm asking though is, and I don't think it's been answered. Do you believe that raping women and smashing babies was moral? Is morally right? Well, it's not morally right to me. So, so, so. But I still believe in the God of the Bible. So, regardless. so you believe that God done something immoral? Well, it looks that way, doesn't it? So then, he's not but perfect. But he's still holy, he's still a holy God. No, but if you do something immoral, you're not perfect. So then what you're saying is, I believe that my God is imperfect. No, he's still perfect, he's still a perfect God. You can't, so you're saying that he done something immoral. Because he didn't do it. The people that obeyed his commands. Oh, okay, is commanding this moral? Is it morally right to command this? Not according to our law. But then, there is no law above God. Nothing so, is above him. So, Malcolm, what I'm asking, do you believe that when God commanded to smash innocent babies into pieces and to rape women, was that morally right? I know it was for a certain time, I know you'd have to do it now. You you go under the New Testament well, I'm saying no, okay, it's not morally right. Yeah. But you're not going to win, I'm going to still believe in the God of the Bible. That's, that's fine. You're a Muslim, I'm a Christian, right? Yeah. I know what you're trying to do. What? It's not working. What, what am I trying to do? Jesus is still on the throne, you know. What, what am I trying to you're do? You're trying to say that because of these scriptures, Jesus is not God, yeah? No, I'm trying to get an understanding of you. You're trying to find all these different no, no, reasons. No, 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 Malcolm. I'm trying to get an understanding of your position. Because I'm a bit confused how you can believe God done something immoral and still believe in it. I don't understand that. And I just said to you, you're presenting this argument to God, not to me. No, because I... this does not belong to me, this point. But you believe in it? Yes, I do, yeah. So I'm asking, why do you believe that God done something immoral? and still believe he's perfect. Yeah, he's perfect. God is God, he's but perfect. That's a contradiction. Because you can't say something is perfect and something is immoral at the same well, time. Well, he's commanded, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's paradoxical. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces. It. Yeah, before their very eyes. So the houses shall be spoiled. And the women raped. The whole, whole spirit of the meads 
against them we shall not regard silver and gold. They shall not regard silver and yeah. gold. Yeah, so what I'm saying, Malcolm, so is... you're going to keep repeating this, aren't you, this no, question? No, no, you're no, no, no I'm not. We, we addressed it. And you said you believe it's immoral. Now, my second question to you, Malcolm, is why do you believe in this Bible and why do you believe it's the Word of God when you yourself have just said that it's immoral? Because He is the true God. He is the real God. So, so whether we understand it, whether we like it, yeah. it doesn't matter because He's still God. So God... And nobody, nobody is above God. Yeah. Nobody is above Jesus. I agree. So we can't do anything about it. So We can say this, but we can't argue with Him because He's still God. So even though God does something immoral, and something immoral is wrong, right? The way it is. So God who is perfect does not. So there's always been immorality on the earth. Uh, yeah, yeah, but not from God. Not from God. Well he allows it. So yeah, he allows it but he doesn't command it. That's the difference. So what you are then saying is that God commanded something which is wrong. Because Im something immoral is something wrong. So God done something wrong yet he's still perfect. That's par that's paradoxical. Anyway, we'll leave it at that because you're gonna go over and over I'm, again. Malcolm, I, I left this. I'm not going on that no more. But what you're saying is paradoxical. It's contradictory. You're saying God is perfect on one hand, and on the other hand, you're saying He does something wrong. You see, you've got a perfectly good argument. Yeah. You're saying that the Bible is not the fallible Word of God. Yeah. I don't believe the Word of. Yeah. I don't believe that you're saying this. You're saying that the Bible is not a trustworthy source. No, I, I also, I also say it's not the Word of God. And I'm, I'm the opposite way. I believe yeah. it is. Yeah. So we, we could stand here all day. No, but Malcolm, you, you would say it's not the Word of God. I yeah. would say it is. You would give your reasons why you don't believe it's the word of God. No. I'll give you the reasons why I do. And it go on like that. No, but you Ma know? Malcolm, the thing is. Hey, John. Ma Malcolm, the thing is, though. Malcolm, you haven't given me an answer to this paradox. No. Yeah, so then, is, do you, is it the case that you just don't have an answer? Well, I guess so, yeah. So then, I'll ask you this. If you looked into this, right? As a sincere person, if you looked into this and you found that you could not find any explanation, for how God done something wrong and he's still perfect at the same time. Would you still believe in Christianity? Yeah, I probably would, yeah. Still? Yeah, right. I'd still believe that Jesus right. is on the front. I, I, I'll ask you this then, right? Well, I appreciate that you're presenting yeah. a case I'll, I'll or a scenario. You, I'll ask you this, I'll, I'll propose something to you, right? Out of sincerity. I wasn't born into Islam. I read the Bible, okay, I studied it, as you can see. I didn't just try to pick out mistakes or whatnot, I read the whole Bible. And how was you and, feeling as you were reading and, what was I, going through your mind? I noticed a lot of errors and mistakes in it. Right. And as I started to poke holes in it, I started to question priests on it, I noticed that I didn't have an answer. When I went to scholarly academia, I could also see they couldn't give me an answer either. That's when I left it. Now, I'm asking you as a sincere person, right? If I've taken the time to study the Bible and I've found errors and mistakes in it, will you be willing to read the Quran? I read this with an open heart and I found many mistakes that I didn't find people could answer. Would you, as someone who's also sincere, be willing to read the Quran? There's an open heart. Yeah, I mean, if I'm willing to talk, I'll read it, yeah. Right. I appreciate that then. We'll, we'll come back and we'll see what you think. Yeah. I appreciate the conversation. No, I, I'm not angry with yeah. you, by the way. Yeah, of course, man. That's what you we're haven't for. made me doubt the Bible, yeah. but I understand that not only you, but many Muslims, yeah. not only here, but all around the world, we present similar kind of yeah. arguments, which is fair enough. And yeah. I believe that, that is the duty of a Muslim to do that. Yeah. Because you are, you are for Allah, right? Yeah. And if you're for Allah, you have to be defending his interests, right? Whereas Christians are defending the interests yeah. of Jehovah but, or Jesus. Yeah, but Malcolm, you so see, can you see what's going on here? I, I see your point, but Malcolm, the thing is that I wasn't born into Islam, I'm a revert. No, I understand. So, but you decided to go with Islam because... Yeah, yeah but I'm saying, it wasn't the case that my parents are Muslim and then I became Muslim and now I have a presupposition that Islam is the truth. I studied this, I looked into it, I attended Bible studies. You, after you the, weren't comfortable with it? No, I wasn't comfortable with it. Did you feel not comfortable right from the beginning? No, not right from the beginning. But what I've noticed, and I've seen this with many Christians, and like, forgive me for saying this, I feel like many of them don't have an understanding of the Bible or their religion. When they do a deep dive into the authorship, into the canonization, into the creed, that's when they start to get doubts, shubhat. Right, and I've noticed right. that. I feel like the reason why a lot of Christians are Christian today is because they haven't actually studied their book. For example, I'll give you an example. You see the argument that Muslims make. Give me one verse where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. 
right? No, he doesn't say it. Yeah, he doesn't. Many Christians aren't even aware of that, that he doesn't say that. So what I'd say is that a large portion of Christians are only Christian because they don't actually have an understanding of the text. But I appreciate the conversation. Oh, it's been good and we're on camera. Yeah, yeah. Read the Quran and obviously if you come back to me with an answer, I'm more than happy to listen to it. I appreciate the conversation. It was nice meeting you. Let me check the scripture. Which yeah. book was it in? Yeah, um, no, it was in Exodus. I'll, I'll put the mics back and I'll give you all the things that you said. Yeah, or you can write it down or something. Yeah. I'll have a look at it. Yeah.